Hey sunshines and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a weight loss sort of fill-in haul from Trader Joe's for you. So I have been on the weight loss journey for about a month. I've lost, I don't know, seven-ish pounds, which sounds really good, but you know those first like four or five drop off pretty quickly because of water weight if you're being consistent. So I feel like now the real work begins. Just FYI, I'm just gonna announce or call out the elephant in the room. My house is a mess in the back. You see my tidy cat, my vacuum cleaner and my cabinets. I think there's some boxes back there in my sunroom that need to go to recycle. But you know what? This is real life and I bet you guys have some real life in your house too. If you do let me know what your real life clutter is today. Anyway, let's go ahead and just talk about what I got. I do have a few things in my pantry that I like, like some yogurts and some, I love those lightly salted rice cakes. I'll tell you how I eat them and some things like that. But there wasn't a lot of options right now in my pantry and I have fallen off the weight loss wagon for about three days. I gotta tell you, I really feel a difference because I don't have as much energy. I feel a little more sluggish. So I'm ready to start eating a little bit more clean again. I do eat very clean for breakfast, very clean for lunch and snacks. And then for dinner, I just eat what my family eats. Now I plan and cook most of what my family eats. So we do cook healthier, but not all the time is it gonna be, like if we want, if I make chicken parmesan, then I just eat chicken parmesan. I'm gonna have a smaller portion and not as much spaghetti on the side, but I eat what I eat and that's kind of the way it's going so far. It seems to be working for me. Now when I do these kind of like haul videos, especially from the grocery store or weight loss journey videos, everybody's got an opinion. Some people do intermittent fasting, some people do keto, some people do Weight Watchers, some people are gluten-free, whatever. Everybody's got their own opinion. This is just the things that work for me. Oh. Here we go. I got some celery, easy. I got a cucumber. I love, love, love cucumbers. I picked up a bag of blood oranges. A lot of times I will have these in the morning with my breakfast. I picked up a bag of these Honeycrisp apples. I love these apples because they're little bitty. I mean, look, they, they fit in the palm of your hand. They're so small. I don't like a really big apple. I just get too full with them. But sometimes I'll just cut this up in the morning with a little bit of peanut butter if I, or just for a snack. They're really great. The kids like these too. Another thing that I picked up were these little Brie Bites. I love these. They're just tiny. They're kind of like a Baby Bell. They're a little bit bigger maybe than a Baby Bell cheese. But there are times at eight o'clock at night where I just need to munch on something. I love crunchy foods and I love salty foods. I'm not really drawn to the sugar. I really like the crunch and the salt. So I will grab one of these with maybe six or eight pita crackers, which I already have in the pantry, and it will satisfy me and I have a glass of water and it fills me up. So these are a lifesaver. And also sometimes I'll have what I call a snacky lunch where it might be one of these with a few pita crackers, some hummus and vegetables, or maybe some nuts or something, and that fills me up. So that's what that. I did get this Trader Joe's steel cut oatmeal. It says it's got brown sugar and maple syrup in it. Sorry. Um, I really don't like this stuff. <laughs> to be honest, I feel like it doesn't have a lot of flavor. There's two like bricks inside. You put the brick in a microwave safe bowl, put it in the microwave for like, I don't know, two minutes. It's very watery, I have to drain some of it. It doesn't have a lot of flavor. <laughs> I like the good stuff in my oatmeal, you know what I mean? But I know it's healthy for me. A lot of times I'll chop up some bananas and put on top. But there are mornings when I wake up and I just don't want to food prep that day. And so this works a little bit better for me just to have these. And like I said, there's only two, so they don't happen very often, but I'm always glad that I have them when I need them. I picked up two bananas. We did have a few bananas, but I grabbed two more just to have. Another thing that's a just a lifesaver for me is having some hummus. So a lot of times I'll just chop up a bunch of vegetables and have a little bit of hummus for a snack if I need something a little heartier in the mid afternoon time. Now, I did buy a couple of splurgy cheat items. I feel like you have to have some cheat item in your life when you're on the weight loss journey or you're just not gonna be successful. So y'all probably know what it is. This is the caramelized onion dip from Trader Joe's, you guys. I just wanna dive head first into this. It is so good and I um, pair it with the organic corn chips. Oh, 
so yummy. This might be like a Saturday treat or something. So good, you guys, I'm telling you. Um, I did pick up a thing of avocados. So a couple of times a week, probably two, I'll scramble a couple of eggs, just put a little bit of cheese on the top, and then I will take one of my lightly salted rice cakes and I'll smush a half an avocado on top and then sprinkle some everything but the bagel seasoning. That's like my favorite breakfast right now. And then I might take one of those blood oranges and have it on the side. Oh. The flavors are just so good. So I had to have some avocados. I did pick up some organic French vanilla yogurt. Emma's really been into smoothies lately. I actually started pinning a bunch of smoothies to my Pinterest board. And so um, I got these for her and for myself, but I'm gonna try and start researching some more smoothies where I can add in like protein powder and different seeds and things to, that, to be healthy. But I did grab this as well as some frozen strawberries and then we have bananas for her. Well, and really for myself. Okay, now this item, I finally fell into the trap and I got some of this riced cauliflower. Um, I'm not excited about it. <laughs> I'm just gonna be real. If you guys have tried this, how can I doctor it up so I'm gonna like it? I'm thinking like cilantro and lime juice or something. I don't know. I want to like it. I haven't tried it, so I might actually like it. I, I like vegetables, but I'm just not 100% sure about this. But I like about twice a week, I'll have one of these chicken chili lime burgers. These are not pre-cooked, you have to cook them. But they're, they're a flavorful chicken burger. I don't serve them on a bun. I just use a, the patty and I'll um, either roast some vegetables or I was thinking this might be a good option for it. So if you have a way to doctor this up that's healthy, spam me with some recipes below. <laughs> Okay, the next thing I grabbed was some jasmine rice. This is definitely not on the weight loss journey, but I like having this in my fridge. There's three individual packs, and if you're trying to do a quick dinner, because kids are going out the door to sports or clubs or whatever, um, this is great. So I always have that on my, in my pantry. Um, I grabbed a bag of the organic spring mix for just salads. I love, I don't know if you guys remember, I might've talked about this before. There's an episode of Seinfeld where Elaine talks about the big salad. <laughs> and so it's a salad with, I'll boil an egg, I'll put a cucumber, green pepper, celery, carrots, um, so maybe some pumpkin seeds or nuts, and just eat a great big salad um, for lunch. And so I grabbed that. They have a place in the back of Trader Joe's where they're always making some of their products. And today they were making these cheese enchiladas and they took this Mexican corn and put it on top and it was delicious. I did not get this for myself, although I ate the little cup they gave me. <laughs> I got this for Dawson. He's 14, you've heard about it before. I have to have first dinner and then second dinner. <laughs> and so I thought for an after school snack or because there's two enchiladas in there, I could cook them an enchilada, put the little um, corn on top and he would have something before he goes to bed. Um, I got this bag of dark sweet cherries. Cherries are one of my favorite, favorite fruits next to pineapple. And so I got these for smoothies for myself. Got some cut and peeled organic carrots. These aren't baby carrots, they're just regular carrots that are cut and peeled. I got some mushrooms. I do like mushrooms um, with breakfast a lot of times. If I do a scrambled egg and maybe I'm not doing the avocado thing, I might just do some peppers and onions and mushrooms, like saute them together and sort of do it that way. So those are good. Um, my favorite, favorite snack right now, you guys are gonna call me a liar, but I promise it's true, are roasted green beans. I can eat an entire pan of roasted green beans in one sitting. So a lot of times I'll make the chicken chili lime burger and then I will do um, half green beans and half broccoli and I will just roast those together. It's so good. Just a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt, mix it together, throw it in the oven on 400 for, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes. The broccoli actually you need to put in after the green beans because this will cook really fast. So good. I just um, get something for Emma. I really want to eat them, but I'm not going to. There are four big soft pretzels in this bag and it comes with salt, but she loves a good self, a big pretzel. She's also a size double zero, so she can have some pretzels when she wants. But I thought for an after school snack, she might like that. And then I grabbed, this is a splurge, my favorite blood orange soda. I love soda. I don't drink coffee. I like soda and I've been cutting it, which is 
probably the reason that's helping me lose so much weight. Y'all don't have to tell me. I know it's chemical and sugar and all that. I don't like the diet stuff. I like the real thing. Um, but I just like a good fizzy drink. And I don't like the LaCroix flavored fizzy waters. I don't like them. So if I'm needing a fizzy fix, I can just have a little bit of this and it totally satisfies me. It's just so good. It's the Villa Italia Blood Orange Soda. All right, and then I went over to um, Target because I had seen a YouTuber talk about this. It's the Think, well, she had the Think Thin peanut butter oatmeal. For some reason, that just sounds so good to me. And she actually took a little scoop of peanut butter and mixed it in her oatmeal, which I may do for that Trader Joe's one. But um, they didn't have it at my Target. So I got the Madagascar Vanilla Almonds and Pecans. So I think it has almonds and pecan packets in it. I'm gonna try this and see what I think. Again, for a really easy breakfast, that works. And then I saw a different YouTuber, I think it was Ellie or Jared from Ellie and Jared. They were talking about these Think Thin Lemon Delight protein bars. I'm not a big chocolate protein bar girl or chocolate chip. So I sort of like vanilla ones or nut ones, but this lemon one looked really, really good. It has 20 grams of protein in it. And sometimes for lunch, again, I'll just want a snacky lunch and I'll just do a protein bar and maybe some vegetables or fruit or hummus or something so i don't know i thought those would be good so i usually pair i didn't pick up a shrimp ring i'll get like a shrimp ring and eat like that for two days with maybe a sweet potato i forgot to grab some sweet potatoes sometimes i'll grab some scallops um, I love scallops and have those for lunch with some roasted vegetables. So those are sort of the ideas I'm having. If you guys have some really great yummy um, recipes or ideas for things that you eat when you're on a weight loss journey, let me know because honestly, where I always fall off the bandwagon is I'll eat the same thing over and over and over until I'm so sick of it <laughs> that I don't want to eat it anymore. So I'm really, really trying to rotate through a lot of different really great foods so that I will keep it interesting and want to stay. It's coming into summer when all the fruits are so yummy. So I think I'm going to be able to stay on it, but that was my Trader Joe's haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you soon for my next video. If you're new, my name is Christy and welcome. I'm incredibly happy you're here. Please consider hitting that subscription button and I'll see you for my next video. Bye-bye guys.